Nissan quietly updated its compact road sport halfway through the 2018 model year, adding a host of safety systems. For the 2019 model year, that trend continues with even more tech, but it doesn't affect the bottom line all that much. The 2019 Nissan Rogue Sport is already on sale at dealerships. Updates for the 2019 model year include a new audio system with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, in addition to the rear door alert safety system, which warns you if you're about to leave something in the back seat after turning the car off. Pro Pilot Assist, a driver assist suite that will center the vehicle in its lane on the highway, is also now available. A base Rogue Sport S with front-wheel drive will set you back $22,240 which is just $130 more than the 2018.5 model. Adding all-wheel drive to this trim will incur an additional $1,350 markup. Standard equipment includes LED running lights and satellite radio. Sadly, Nissan's suite of active and passive driver rates remains unavailable for the base S trim. Move up to the Rogue Sport SV trim, which starts at $24,040 and you're able to add Pro Pilot Assist as an option, and all that good safety kit becomes standard. The SV trim also gets automatic climate control, keyless access and 17-inch alloy wheels for a slightly sportier look. The tip-top Rogue Sport SL trim makes Pro Pilot Assist standard, also adding heated leather front seats, remote engine start and embedded navigation. That one will set you back $27,960 with front-wheel drive. As with previous Rogue Sport model years, the powertrain comprises a 2.0-liter naturally aspirated i4 that's good for 141 horsepower and 147 pound-feet of torque, all of which is routed through a continuously variable transmission. True to the Subaru brand's core value of all-wheel drive, the Japanese automaker's first-ever plug-in hybrid will stay true to its heritage. They could have built their first PHEV on a two-wheel drive platform and achieved more MPG and EV range but chose to build in on the rugged cross-strek platform. They did sacrifice some fuel efficiency, but it wouldn't have been a real Subaru without its go-anywhere attitude. The Crosstrek plug-in hybrid is powered by an FB 22.0-liter boxer engine like the standard Crosstrek but is coupled with two electric motors for all-electric power. It uses an 8.8 kWh lithium-ion battery and the two electric motors produce 118 horsepower and 149 pounds FT of torque. The 2.0-liter gas engine produces 137 horsepower and 134 pounds FT of torque. Subaru estimates total system output at 148 horsepower, which is slightly lower than the standard Crosstrex 152 horsepower and 145 pounds FT of torque. Here are two reasons why Subaru sacrificed MPG and EV range in Crosstrek plug-in hybrid. 1. All-wheel drive is a core value for Subaru. Even with less horsepower and more weight from the PHEV hardware, with the Crosstrek gas-electric combination, the acceleration and power should be significantly quicker than the standard model. The 148 horsepower setup achieves an electric-only driving range of 17 miles and speeds up to 65 mph in full electric mode. That is good for a fuel economy rating of 90 mpge. This is less than plug-in hybrids from other mainstream brands, but Subaru chose to offer it an all-wheel drive package offering all-weather, all-terrain capability. For comparison, the Chevrolet Volt gets an EPA-rated 53 miles of electric range and 106 mpge, the Kia Niro PHEV gets 26 miles and 105 mpge. But the Volt and Niro, along with most other mainstream non-luxury plug-in hybrids, don't offer all-wheel drive. 
the larger Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV features an all-wheel drive system and comes with more electric-only range than the Crosstrek but lower efficiency. The 2019 Subaru Crosstrek plug-in hybrid offers real all-wheel capability in a hybrid package, and it embodies the company's environmental vision and their vision to be the overall safety leader. It also comes standard with EyeSight Driver Assist, so it will be the safest small PHEV SUV for consumers. 2. Safety First Even with the increased weight of the Crosstrek plug-in hybrid system, collision and safety performance will stay at the highest levels for consumers. Subaru could have lowered the weight of the new Crosstrek and sacrificed safety but they strengthen the chassis to support the increased weight of the plug-in hybrid system, as well as protection for the high-voltage battery to ensure Crosstrex class-leading safety even in the plug-in hybrid model. The all-new first-ever Subaru plug-in hybrid wouldn't have been a real Subaru without being built on a rugged platform with all-wheel drive, all-terrain capability. It will also be the safest small SUV PHEV for consumers. The Japanese automaker sacrificed MPGE and all-electric range in their first-ever 2019 Subaru Crosstrek plug-in hybrid to stay true to their core values. Nissan announced pricing for the 2019 GTR Sports Coupe and also said it will produce 50 of the GTR 50 commemorative models designed by Atoll Design to celebrate the golden anniversary of this automotive icon. The more affordable 2019 Nissan GTR Sports Coupe starts with the Pure model, which keeps the same $99,990 price tag as last year. Next up. The GTR Premium, which boasts an 11-speaker Bose audio system, active noise cancellation and enhancement and a titanium exhaust system is priced from $110,540. For hardcore enthusiasts, the 2019 GTR Track Edition, which features suspension enhancements while keeping the same 565 horsepower, 467 pounds FTF torque 3.8 liter twin turbo V6 as the other two models, is priced from $128,540. All models come with a 6-speed dual clutch sequential shift automatic transmission and all-wheel drive. The 2019 GTR Nismo, which is the ultimate performance expression of the coupe, costs $175,540 and boasts 600 horsepower and 481 pounds FTF torque. This limited edition trim also features optimized aerodynamics, suspension and powertrain settings. Delivery is $1,695 extra. Nissan said it will produce a limited run of the Nissan GTR 50 by Etal Design, which is based on a concept presented last summer at the Goodwood Festival of Speed to mark the 50th anniversary of this legendary performance coupe. The look of the car is unchanged from the prototype and it is expected to retain the 720 horsepower and 575 pounds FTF torque from the specially crafted 3.8-liter twin-turbo V6. Only 50 of the cars will be built by Ital Design and will cost $1.1 million each before taxes and options. Unlike the prototype, which was finished in a special matte grey finish with gold accents, customers will be able to choose their own color combinations and interior hues and trim packages. Bob Lashley, Global Sports Car Program Director at Nissan said, The reaction from Nissan fans around the world, and potential customers of the GTR 50, has greatly exceeded our expectations. These 50 cars, which celebrate 50 years of the GTRs while at 50 years of Etal design, will be rolling tributes to Nissan's engineering leadership and rich sports car heritage for a long time to come.
New documents reveal that the upcoming 2019 Subaru Crosstrek Hybrid could have a best-case scenario of 25 miles of all-electric range, unadjusted according to numbers submitted to the California Air Resources Board CARB. That puts it in the hunt with other plug-in hybrid small hatchbacks and crossover vehicles. The California documents, first obtained by Autoblog, show results from the EPA's Urban Dynamometer Driving Cycle, a lab test which by itself has been known to produce somewhat optimistic numbers. The actual EPA range rating will be subject to an adjustment factor and could be significantly lower. Subaru developed the Crosstrek Hybrid in conjunction with Toyota, using Toyota's hybrid drive system, which likely means it will have the larger company's electronically controlled planetary continuously variable transmission. It is expected to offer Subaru's typical standard all-wheel drive and elevated ground clearance, however, so many observers expected more modest range numbers. When Subaru last sold a Crosstrek hybrid from 2014 to 2016, it barely improved on the fuel economy of the non-hybrid Crosstrek and seldom ran on electric power. The company hasn't released any specs, so the configuration of the all-wheel drive system isn't entirely clear, or whether the Crosstrek has a larger battery pack than the 8.8 kWh unit in the Prius Prime. The Crosstrek Hybrid is scheduled to debut later this month at the LA Auto Show, potentially at the same time as a rumored all-wheel drive version of the Toyota Prius Hybrid. Toyota, however, may not offer all-wheel drive on the plug-in Prius Prime, which has 25 miles of range. Either way, the new Crosstrek Hybrid makes no mention of its plug-in capability in its name, much like the Chrysler's Pacifica Hybrid minivan. Perhaps having some plug-in range has become the new minimum entry point for a vehicle to be called a hybrid.